Time to apply what you've learned. This is lab seven. We're going to take the last lab that we did, lab 6b, which returned a list of display values in an array, and expand upon that. We want a list of sysids and display values. So an array of objects is going to get returned. So if you don't remember 6b, it looks a lot like this, or at least my solution did, where we accepted a table name and, a, and an optional limit. If it didn't put one in, it will make one for you, <laughs> nothing, and then returns a list of records. And I simply joined that. So seven is going to take that and not just do a push of a single value, but you're going to need to construct an object and then push that into the array. Ah, this is where it gets interesting. You're gonna to have to use a little brain power on this one. It is a fairly common situation, at least I deal with it on a regular basis when I'm creating objects and wanna display a list of things in service portal or some sort of report where I've got a list of objects and I need different fields for each of the list elements. So think about that and I'll show you the answer in the next video.